Welcome back to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to go out to Philadelphia, New Jersey area and discuss a little Bruno Scarfo crime family news, some appointments, some restructuring. Um, Anthony Stano, former CFO, acting underboss, underboss, um, is back in the mix, I'm being told, uh, as part of this it's not a full restructuring by any means, but just kind of a, I guess a fine tuning of uh, the hierarchy in the wake of the Joey Merlino podcast controversy. And what I've been told is Uncle Joe Legambi, Stevie Mazzone having to kind of step forward um, and do some damage control. And it's, it's worked out. Um, from what I understand, Georgie Borghese, still the uh, acting boss of the crime family, could be boss, uh, depending on where Joey stands. Um, but Uncle Joe uh, has worked his magic once again, most underrated mob don of the last quarter century, you know, without a doubt. You could maybe even go back further. This guy is so um, adept and well-versed and respected and always has just the the right touch and approach to whatever situation it is. And I'm told that he has given his former protege or his protege, Stano, um, responsibility for New York City right now. And that Stano's very quietly um, has been doing business for the Gamby and the and the Philly guys uh, in New York liaisoning with the Gambinos and the Genovese and the Lucchese's allegedly uh, Stano did about I think eight years, nine years um, in prison on a racketeering case. Maybe it was a little less. Um, and came out, I think, five years ago-ish. Uh, it's been off paper for a couple of years. He, a lot of what's going on now is in some ways a throwback to the 2000s with Stano and, you know, last year, Mousy Massimino coming back in, uh, out of prison and coming back on the scene. He's said to, allegedly uh, said to be in the hierarchy right now, helping out Uncle Joe, just like him and, and Stano did. Um, these are both guys from New Jersey that obviously have ties in South Philly, but not from New Jersey, but have done a lot of, a lot of, uh, they've lived in New Jersey and they've done a lot of their OC um, teeth cutting, I guess you would say, and, and climbing the ladder out of New Jersey. Um, Stano's uncle was Junior Stano, Ralph Stano, AKA Junior Stano was, goes back to the Bruno and Scarfo regime. And, you know, he's a very polished, uh, very well-spoken, um, a guy that uh, great with numbers and uh, rock solid, you know, loyal as they come and uh, underrated in terms of a guy you don't want to cross. I mean, I'll, some people look at him, you know, I think over the years have looked at him as, you know, the brains without the brawn, but, he's not someone to trifle with. And even if he's not the one with the brawn, he's got guys with the brawn. I mean, I, remember, I know there was a situation, I think with uh, Bobby Ranieri. Um, I, I could be mistaken, but uh, where, where he, he took, he got Ranieri to go handle some of his business. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't think there's any question that, you know, uh, you have, a guy here that is very trusted and could play a role going into the future. He's only 65, 66 right now uh, and how the family looks going forward. But just interesting to note that he he's doing a lot of the talking for, for the Gamby and Georgie. Uh, Stevie's obviously locked up. Joe uh, Mousy um, doing a lot of talking with the guys in, in, in New York city. Uh, I know that Johnny Chang and Phil Narducci are guys that go to New York uh, just 
for business purposes, not related to alleged LCN activity. And and I know that over the years they've, or I should say over the years, Johnny Chang has, has played a liaisoning role. Uh, Narducci, I know, has been chiming in uh, using some of his contacts to settle the waters over the last couple months because he has so many contacts in New York from his time in federal prison. So, you know, this is just something to keep an eye on. And just there's a lot of guys from the 2000s admin that are coming back into play 20 years later. So just we're keeping tabs. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. If you love the OG podcast or our companion uh, web magazine, The Gangster Report, we're still here giving you breaking news across North America uh, with organized crime. You can come to us almost every day. We got something for you. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein. I'm out.